Previously. Everybody in the family has been acting like he has abandoned the entire family. Soon. This house really, or not the house, the estate, especially the castle, I guess, but the estate in general was kind of built on a lot of blood. Uh, and then that's Marcus Gordon. Hmm. New things. Talk well, let's just start with this. That secret chapel you have spoken of, it must be somewhere beneath us. Nobody has ever found a trace of the entrance, let alone the whole chapel, Samuel. It's merely an old legend from the Chronicle. What happened to Marcus after Mordred died? He became the lord of the manor and died a long time later, a tired old man. As a tribute to his leadership, they buried him in a secret crypt. Today no one knows where his body rests. Do any further records of his life still exist? None that I know of. Important to keep our word, exactly. Especially not just for morality's sake, but... If we were to talk to Henry later, if word got back to him that we had ratted him out, that might. Well, it's not the chapel's existence that's secret, though. It's the location of the castle. Like, they know it's under the. or of the chapel. They know it's under the castle, but they don't know where under the castle. It's exact location, I think. But that is a good point. I mean, all the cool kids are going to the chapel under the castles. Definitely a place to... My skin is super dried out. I keep having to add to it. Anyway. Okay. Let me think. Victoria, I need the key to William's study. I know that you insist that no one go in there, but... No one is allowed to set foot in there. Why are you talking about that place to me, Samuel? Why are you making me think of it? I just wanted... Go away. I need to be alone now. Of course. Oh... As Little Miss Fortune would say, Yikes forever. A rave. Hey, like they uh, do in France, right? In the um, catacombs there. Right? Paris. Oh, no, I was asking her for the key, but I didn't get it. It was down here for some reason. I was thinking it was added to my inventory. Um, talk to Bates again. So that I'll have, he'll have anything to say. But yeah. He's like, he's like, whatever, Samuel. You're an a-hole, too. But get out of my face. Bates. Yes, sir. Hmm. This is about it not being open. Bates, I said something inappropriate to Victoria. Do you think she will accept my apology? Certainly, sir. Madam has a good heart. But if I may advise you, sir. Offer your apology as soon as possible. Why is the entrance to the old tower blocked? Madam ordered me to nail the door shut so that she would not have to think about that place ever again. She does not want anyone to enter William's study. I see. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work. And I cannot remember. We can grab the key, but I cannot remember if we actually can go in the cellar. 
Oh, wait, no. The key there was to the attic, I think. Let me try again, see if we can get the cellar key. I'm not sure. Now that this is the key to the attic. I'll take it. Yeah, no, we don't need it right now. So. I put the key back where I found it. Thank you for well, the matter of fact explanation. I haven't any reason to go into the cellar. Really? So, no reason to see what's going on down there or anything? I. Everything is forthcoming. Go back outside again? Or do I. Let's do this. upstairs again see if anybody up there well not Victoria right she's down here in the common rooms but I don't remember his I Robert asked does any we've already said everything there is to say okay but the answer to that question Not enter that door. Yes, nothing here. Yeah, okay. Guess not. Already looked at these things previous. Tori is still downstairs. Probably he'll just say she's down the rat. Victoria is in the common room. This is not a Cabra or not Menor. This is uh, apparently this stick here. Actually, <laughs> true, true. I honestly don't have a problem with that potentially in this game. In this situation, I would think generally butlers would be like, That's below me, but I agree with you, Mr. Carson, notwithstanding, just in general. But I do think. Two things. Number one, the butler is responsible for managing all of the other servants of the house. If there is no cook, that task still needs to be done. And he's responsible, he or she, I'm sure there's female butlers. Anyway, they need to manage all of the work that is to be done by the servants in the house. If there is not a servant to fulfill said work, it falls on them as the manager, right? Just like with anything. Like if I, for example, am responsible for I don't know. What's a good example? Okay, let's say a fast food restaurant. If I'm responsible, if I'm the manager, I'm responsible to making sure that food is prepared before the restaurant opens. If there's another worker there, I could obviously have them do the food preparation. But if there's nobody there, the work still has to be done. It falls on me as the manager, right? A butler really is just a manager of the servants. Special title, but it's still the manager of the servants. Yeah, they absolutely do not. As far as I know, unless I unless one just has not been introduced yet, there are only three servants in total for the entirety of the estate. You have huge grounds that need to be cared for by the gardener. Not enough people to do all the gardening. 
all the weed pulling and any landscaping work that needs to be done, any repair work, any cleaning of things like a pond or pillars or any of that stuff, none of that, right? There's one person for all of that. There's one person who is the horse master, right? So they run the stables, they train the horses, they feed the horses, they... do whatever else is related to that. So maybe, I don't know if they still do racing, but if they do, we would be in charge of scheduling for that and all that kind of stuff. That's two of the three servants. The other servant left is Bates, the butler. So they need a bigger family who's willing to do the work slash they need more income so they can have more servants. Either way. So we're going to go, I think... Yeah. I guess outside and have a conversation outside again? I don't know. Oh, we can go to the library again. Talk to the doctor again. Heinz or whatever. Is. Um, anyway, yeah. Just, you know. We examined this before, and I don't know. I think this has a zoom in when we do so. But I don't think we ever got any kind of change in our mouse cursor here to show we can interact with this. Okay. <coughs> yeah. I mean, so I think you... I can't remember. Were you here last week, Somni? Did you see us read that tome that outlined the whole history of the family? Well, so either were you on the stream or did you watch since then? see the whole history of that i won't go into a lot of detail but i'll try to kind of summarize it i think what i can remember of it but effectively this house yeah okay so like you remember this house really or not the house the estate especially the castle, I guess, but the estate in general was kind of built on a lot of blood between family members and between people who were forced into labor or whatnot to the Gordon family benefit pretty much means that family's legacy is built on blood and tears so it's not a good legacy so with that in mind should it be any surprise for anybody that there's potentially some kind of curse among the family to make them pay for their past crime so i guess for you to judge and decide if you think so or not but personally i feel like you kind of brought it on yourself. One way or another. Now, it does seem like William was possibly digging too deep, metaphorically speaking, like the dwarves in Lord of the Rings, right? It's possible. Gypsy Curse is this Drag Me to Hell Monmouth. But anyway, I'm joking, of course. But it's possible to use the phrase that Tolkien used in Lord of the Rings where the dwarves delved too deep, it's possible that William was doing research into the curse, trying to see if there's some way to stop it, trying to find the cause of it, whatever. And he presumably dug into something he ought not to have and uncovered sinister forces that did not take kindly to his investigation. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The painting is is definitely like this was a this was an evil man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The hounds that almost look like with the with the shades on the painting like they might be from the hell from the pits of hell or something. The only other color I think they could have used to make it look more evil possibly and it would depend on how they did it would be if they used like red so yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, if this portrait were supposed to be commissioned, presumably the family had some say over it also. They probably saw it and were like, oh, yeah, yeah, that dude's evil. Yeah, yeah, we're keeping that portrait. Well done, painter, well done. He won't tell me anything more today. We're done Tomorrow, with... I will go see him in his home. Okay, so am I just going to sleep at some point? Because last time I tried looking in my bedroom, I didn't even have a prompt to do anything with my bed. All right, let's just head back out. So, the library is not going to give us anything more right now. Heinz won't give us anything more. Bates won't give us anything more. Victoria won't. Uh, maybe we try to apologize to her now, although I don't think so. But let's try. Let's see what he says, just in case. Yeah, this is another intimidating, I'm a very bad person picture, right? Should apologize. Oh, so we do go back and apologize. Okay, good. May I speak with you for a while, Victoria? Of course, Samuel. I'd like to apologize for what I said before. I may have been hasty in my response as well. I had that key destroyed so that no one can ever enter the tower again. Maybe William had another key, I do not know. Where are his personal belongings now? I do not know, I... Ask Herman, I do not want to talk about it. Victoria, why was William hiding away in his study? No one saw him go outside, and he would not let anyone in. Why all the secrecy? I don't know, Samuel. About half a year ago, he closed himself in that damn tower and spent whole days and nights there. He never told me what he was doing. When I asked, he merely stated that he was looking for the truth and that he would not stop until he found it. It entirely absorbed him, and you know how it ended. I hope that he has found his truth. Heinz is the first name. Is it Heinz Hermann? Maybe, actually. Now that I think about it, that very possibly could be... Library. Hermann. Yeah, Hermann. There we go. It's the doctor. Heinz Hermann. Doctor, can I have a word with you? So fine. Just take your time. It's fine. Yes. All right. Not like I need something from you or whatever. Keep me waiting, you jerk. Dr. Herman, Victoria told me you had William's personal belongings. Yes, that is true. I would like to see them. Sure. I can show them to you when you come to the morgue tomorrow. I just do not have any idea what you are expecting. Well, I must see them today. Can you help me? Today? Well, all right. Maybe we could do it like this. I will send someone to the main gate with a parcel for you. Will that do? Perfectly. What time will this person come? I will send him as soon as I get back to the autopsy room. Let us say, seven o'clock? I'll be waiting in front of the main gate at exactly seven o'clock. It's very important. I hope the person is reliable. Do not fear. He will be well paid. Settled? Thank you, Doctor. At seven, I have to be in front of the gate. And the time right now is what? Can't remember if the clock stopped. Uh, was there a clock over on this side of the room? There. It's not here. And then on the back side. Okay, so it's about a quarter to seven. Quarter of seven. However you want to say that. Place the one we had earlier. Okay, so 
It's like 13 of 7, so that means we need to be there soon. I don't know how quickly time passes in this. Since it's a PNC, I would assume it only passes after a certain amount of activities have been done. I've investigated certain things, or gone certain places. But I don't know for sure if that's true. But it'd be a little strange for a point and click to have time just move along when you're busy trying to analyze things to figure out a mystery. So. Cannot really see that one. But I think we maybe go by the one that's in the library. So quarter of seven. Maybe I just go out this way. No, 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 no. I want We're gonna go down to the gate now and see if that'll just spring forward the event will take place right as I get there or if I have to Do some other things Freaking boy. Oh, that's so sad.